So with all their experience and knowledge, they know how to bring all that together and produce a good quality casting that's highly rigid um, and stops vibration and makes a really solid base for the rotary table to, to operate from. Welcome to the MTD Technical Corner. Today it's an absolute pleasure to welcome Andy from First MTA and we're going to be discussing the Kitagawa Rotary Tables. Andy, welcome to the MTD Technical Corner. Yeah, thank you very much, Gio. Yeah, it's good to be here. Good yeah. to see you here, Andy. It's been it's been a while. Yeah. Um, Andy, great product portfolio, um, great rotary table range. Um, firstly, tell me about the Kitagawa rotary table range. Yeah, so we have, um, like I say, a wide, a wide range of fourth axis rotary tables, um, ranging from 120 millimeter diameter face plates all the way up to 630 millimeter diameter face plates. Um, and then we also have a, a range of fourth and fifth axis rotary tables as well. So yeah, really wide range to fit lots of different applications and lots of different sizes of machine. Now, um, the Kitagawa rotary tables are made in Japan. Yeah. Um, and, and, and they're made to a very high quality. Tell me a little bit more about the quality and what makes them really stand out. Yeah, that's um, in, in Japan, um, Kitagawa have their own sort of uh, synthetic materials division and they own their own foundries. So they really know a thing or two about selecting the right materials and how to create a good quality casting, which makes up the body of the rotary table. So with all their experience and knowledge, they know how to bring all that together and produce a good quality casting that's highly rigid um, and stops vibration and makes a really solid base for the rotary table to, to operate from. And that's essential. Absolutely essential with that. Uh, so with the, once you've yeah. got the rigidity um, and, and, and that solid casting, mm -hmm. tell me about the accuracy and the repeatability and the speed of the rotary table from a, a technical perspective. Um, well, yeah, from a technical, well, from a quality and a technical perspective, like say, not only the casting, but the other materials that Kitagawa choose to, to build up the other mechanical parts in there and the, their attention to detail in the, in the production of those parts as well, all sort of combines together to, to give you the high accuracy of the rotary table. Um, so, um, when we're talking about indexing accuracy, we put in our catalog that they're 20 microns second indexing accuracy. Um, but typically every operator in Japan when they're producing the parts and when they're assembling the rotary tables together will be aiming for half that value. So typically when a rotary table goes through its final inspection and is assembled together, it will be well below what we put in the, in the catalog. So yeah, like I say, all the, the, the materials, the processing and the assembly all combines to produce a really accurate, high quality product. Andy, thanks for explaining that really. It's really important to understand um, how accurate and why um, you are designing the rotary tables in the way that you do to achieve the results that they do. And, mm -hmm. and there's some um, videos now that are being shown that are explaining really what you've been um, talking about. Now, when the rotary tables arrive in the UK, they're very customizable. What does this mean? Yeah, so when the rotary tables arrive in the UK, typically they won't have any motor or cables fitted. Um, and then what we do is customize them to suit each individual machine that that is going on to. So if the machine has got a, a FANUC control, for example, then we would fit a FANUC motor and we would fit the, the cables specifically to suit that machine tool. And then that would typically become, you know, an additional fully integrated axis on that machine, fully controlled by the machine control. Um, each machine is, is different, so that's why we customize them in the UK. It gives us that flexibility to, to um, add the right motors and the right cables to suit the wide variety of machines which our customers have got. What about legacy machine tools that may not be fourth or fifth axis prepped? What solutions do you have for this? Yeah, so if your um, machine tool doesn't have any fourth axis preparation on it, um, we have another option, um, which is called our Quinte controller. 
So that is a, a separate controller box um, and that really takes over all the necessary uh, control of the, the rotary table, the indexing, the brake coming on and off, and you can program it as well to, to uh, index 90 degrees or whatever positions you need it to go to. So that can really take control of the rotary table if your machine doesn't have the capability to do it. So you've got um, solutions available for brand new machine tools, legacy machine tools, mm -hmm. both. Yeah. Um, now, we're looking at a range of different work holding products that actually can be mounted onto the rotary table. Can you tell me about some of the applications and some of the, the benefits of introducing a four, four fifth axis rotary table to a three axis machine tool? Yeah, so when you've got a, a three axis machine tool, um, if you add a fourth axis to it, and then perhaps add something like this uh, chip multi-lock in there, then you're really increasing the number of components that you can hold and machine in, in one go on your standard free axis milling machine. Um, so you're really, really increasing that uh, productivity and machining cycles that you can do. Um, and also adding, you know, you can include more operations on your workpieces so your machine is is running for longer periods of time and yeah. So Andy, um, for machinists looking to automate their free axis machine tool with a Kitagawa rotary table, they are already automation ready and future proofed. Yes. Um, Andy, we've discussed now the work holding options for fourth axis rotary tables. So let's move on to the Kitagawa fifth axis rotary tables. Yeah, so we have a, a range of fifth axis rotary tables uh, ranging from 100 millimeter diameter face plates up to 320 millimeter diameter face plates. And these are again ideal to go on to three axis milling machines and then add the extra two axis to give you five axis milling capabilities. Do you get full fifth axis simultaneous options available? Yes, if it, this is integrated into your machine tool and completely controlled by your machine, then yes, you can do five axis simultaneous machining, no problem. Brilliant stuff. Now, talk us through some of the applications and work holding solutions that are available for the TT fifth axis Kitagawa rotary tables. So for the fifth axis rotary tables, uh, something like the Swift clamp, uh, system is ideal for five axis machining um, or we can have a clamp system on there on the face plate so yeah there's a range of different options depending on the size of the components which you want to produce. Now you also um, deal with a lot of special applications and special work holding solutions do you also incorporate them onto a fifth axis uh, roach table from time to time? Yes, so with Kitagawa we have a range of specialist chucks available as well. A lot of those chucks we can fit onto fifth axis rotary tables and fourth axis rotary tables to produce a complete customised work holding solution uh, to go onto your machine. Andy, it's been an absolute pleasure today. It's been great to find out more about the Kitagawa rotary table range and the work holding options that can be uh, mounted onto the Kitagawa rotary table that are also available from First NTA. So thank you very much um, for your expertise today um, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks Andy. Thank you.